And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Yummy Pancakes. Um, this is a uh, Korean board game, as you can see by the Korean cover here, but it is definitely a game about flipping pancakes. It's definitely a kid's game, okay? If you're looking for a game for adults, Maybe as a silly party game late at night and you don't know what else to do, which you could do with any kid's game. But this is one for kids about flipping pancakes with a bit of memory involved. Here's how it plays. So the game comes with a pan which by the way is plastic, and a pile of pancakes, there's 36. There are five different types. There's only four chocolates, and then the rest of there is uh, eight of each. We have blueberry, banana, strawberry, and kiwi. So these are all taken and mixed up in a pile. One person is a chef token, so they're going to put pancakes here face up equal to eight. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see there's three strawberries, two kiwis, a blueberry, a chocolate, and a banana. The chef then is gonna do one flick to try to do as many face down as they can. It says if any, come, if any fall out of the pan face down, you put them back in the pan face up. Now, there must be at least two face down, otherwise you flick it again. There is two face down. So now, he's gonna pick, another, he's gonna pick a pancake and say to another player, so what pancake is this? And the other player will say, okay, so they're thinking, all right, I know there's a banana, I know there's another strawberry, and they can't remember what the thing was. So they'll say banana, flick it up. They're correct, they get this pancake. The chef then says to another person, what's this pancake? They say strawberry. They're correct, they get that pancake. The chef then decides not to ask anyone about this last pancake, because he's pretty sure they'll get it correct, which was a kiwi. Now, if they get it incorrect, so let's say this was down and the person said banana, no it's kiwi, then the chef gets it. So when you are playing as the chef, your goal, that wasn't a very good flick, you're supposed to do one flick. It's actually pretty hard to flick them and keep them in the bowl. Um, maybe if you're an experienced chef, you know, when you flip them over, if people have memorized the numbers out there, they have a 50% chance, for example, here, of knowing that one of those is kiwi and one strawberry. So the chef might ask the first one, you say kiwi. Ah, good, the chef gets it. The chef will not ask the second one. And then you pass it to the next player and you continue on. The game is going to go until one player has uh, 12 tokens. At that point, that person is the winner of the game. That's pretty much the whole game. The pancakes themselves are very nice. They're little pancakes. I don't know who eats pancakes that small, but I mean, obviously bigger pancakes wouldn't make sense for the course of the game. The pan's also very sturdy, as you can see. Um, the whole thing is, is really nicely laid out. The only problem is the stickers. Now, these stickers, happily, you don't have to put on yourself. That's a good thing. But as you can see, some of them are starting to peel up here on the side. So maybe that's just my particular game, but it is a game where you are constantly moving these things and dropping them. So I don't know if it's gonna become a serious problem in the future with many, many more gameplays. But as for now, uh, that, that's pretty much the only negative thing. And if nothing else fails, you know, like let's say you don't wanna use this as a game, it works as a toy. Well, there you have it, uh, a silly fun little kid's game. I mean, like I said, if nothing else, you have yourself a toy, you know. And that might even work, right, for the price of this. Having this, you know, there's, they sell lots of little kitchen things for kid, little kids. This one would work pretty well here, but the, the game itself is fine. It's a flipping game, so there's some dexterity involved. Little kids will find it hard to flip, actually. And you'll find yourself only flipping two or three, and then it's memory. Now, there's one thing about the game I'm not a huge fan of. You point to someone, and then they pick which pancake. So you'll find that people will point to the same person a lot. Um, in our house, I just house rule that you have to pick at the person who has the fewest pancakes. If it's a tie, then you can pick who you want. And that kind of helps out. That way, everyone is kind of playing in the game and stops a runaway leader from happening. But really, it's just a flip and memorize. 
If you like that, you'll like the game. For kids, I think it's perfectly fine, a lot of fun, and some nice components other than the sticker thing. Yummy, yummy pancakes. Thanks to our judgment, kid approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.